All right, guys, we are just moments away from the John Nehru Stakes at Belmont Park. Race four carded a little early, and usually that indicates, Aaron, that there's a big superstar. There is, but there's also Speaker's Corner in here. Life is good, heavy favorite right now. You've got to be loving these. the fact that he's not one to nine even. Yeah, I mean, this is it's crazy that we get this matchup uh, this early in the day, this unexpectedly, you know. <laughs> I don't think last week at this time uh, we thought we were going to get this. So, yeah, it's exciting. Mike, call your shot now. You've got four horses. You can only play an exacta. Obviously, I know you like Life is Good on top. Who's going underneath? Give me that one three cold, baby. I'll take Harvard underneath cold. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Repo Rocks going anything more than six furlongs. Um, and, I, you know, we, I'm just going to see if Seeker's Corner completely has his heart ripped out by flight line. And now next race out, three weeks later, going to be falling behind again. It's going to be interesting to see if, uh, if Speaker's Corner can respond with an A effort here or not. I'm surprised they're willing to back in three weeks, especially when Life is Good's in this field. Aaron, uh, do you agree 1-3 is the exacta? Uh, I don't have an exacta for this race. I think <laughs> if there's ever a, a time you should just not play the race, it's right now. Uh, so I Blast would just watch. Hey, I singled the one. Life is good in the pick five. So I, that's that's what I'll do. But as far as a single race bet, I got nothing for you. Speaker's Corner faces flight line, now faces life is good three weeks later. Poor Poor horse. Unless he wins. We'll see what happens here as they get ready for the Nehru. Great break, great break from life is good there. Yep. That's over, right? Like, this race I, is over? I mean, if he <laughs> fires, let's see what Speaker's Corner does. He's going to look at this. We're going to gun Speaker's Corner out there again. I mean, I, I, I'm shocked they're not just sitting off. I mean, he was asking yeah. him through that, that first furlong there to get going. I don't know why you wouldn't, because your only choice, I think your only chance of beating life as good is to pressure him early off the break and hope that he can't, they hope that he bounces off of Dubai. I, I respect what they're doing, because if you sit off life is good, you're just going to watch him go. He, he certainly kind of has the attitude of let's try to put the screws to him and, and hope we can wear him down. I, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to pressure life is good. seems like speaker's corner under a little bit of a ride and life is good. Not just yet. Flavian Pratt taking over for IRAD doesn't seem to be, uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be bothering life is good too much here. Mike, what are you thinking? I'm thinking the three needs to get uh, get his get his rolling here because he's a way back there. <laughs> he's waiting for everybody to fall apart here, and he's just going to muck up for a second late for you, Mike. Well, that's kind of what we were hoping for, but I think he might be too far back to muck it up. I mean, Speaker's Corner obviously backing up now. You got Repo Rocks coming yeah. up the inside, but I don't think I don't think Harvard's going to get the job done here. But life is good. It looks awfully good, and, and they went fast earlier. It took him 21 and one for the opening quarter, and life is good. Just kind of keeps pulling away. He's uh, he's a very very good horse going one turn. Yeah, you just you're going to be hard, hard, hard pressed to beat him at seven furlongs in a mile uh, in, in one turn races like that. The only horse to do it was that seven furlong race. Jackie's Warrior beat him at Saratoga, and let's not forget, Life is Good was off a long layoff and got horrendous or a horrendous ride in that race, or he may have went, went ahead and beat him anyway. But listen, no shame losing that, that race to Jackie's Warrior that day, a, a superstar horse. But in this race, listen, this poor speaker's corner. This bloke can't catch a break, can he? I mean, my goodness, we, we show up 21 days later after flight line just absolutely dusts you, and then you have to face this monster. I mean, it's impossible to uh, ask for this horse. I will respect the connections. They weren't scared of either one, and they really want to measure Speaker's Corner. What is he, and, and where do we send him next, right? Is this a Breeders' Cup sprint horse? Is he a dirt mile? Uh, can you, they, I think they've learned, guys, that wherever life is good and flight line go, go somewhere else. Don't go, don't go that way. That's what we've learned. The irony in that is it's really unlikely he faces either of these horses again this year. I mean, because they're both going to start trying to stretch out here and, and target the classic. So you didn't really answer any question. All you know is you're not as good as these two horses. You don't know where you stack up in the sprint division or the mile division because these aren't the horses you're going to be facing in the Breeders' Cup. Point. To, to be very fair, I don't blame them at all for going to the Met Mile. They targeted it. They won the prep, the Carter, which is basically the New York prep for the Met Mile. He had been so damn good at a mile this year. And listen, Flightline shows up, and yeah, he's a monster, but he's lightly raced. You don't know exactly, you know, how good he is. He had a pretty good idea, but I don't, I don't, I don't blame him. Give it a shot. This one, I never understood it from from the second I heard it. It just doesn't make any sense. This is not a grade one race. This is not, it's not like this is a million dollar purse. We're a grade two race for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You knew fly, uh, life was good was coming here. It never made any any sense to me. That's a paid workout. 
well, for life is good, but Speaker's Corner, it's like, what what did we really gain out of this? Yeah, you know, it's a much smaller purse, and it's not even a. It used to be a winning year for the Breeders' Cup Sprint, not even that anymore. But uh, listen, life is good. We we know that this is a great horse. It was great to see him come back from Dubai without that balance. He looks like it, Todd Pletcher was hyping him up, and and as much as Todd Pletcher hypes up a horse <laughs> and making it seem like uh, life is good was going to be back. I know that Saratoga Slim is excited to see him at Saratoga, where Mike Samich. You're going to be there all summer. Aaron Haltman, you're going to be in Saratoga a lot this summer, too. So plenty to look forward to, right, guys? Yes. It's going to be a great meet. It'll be a lot of fun. Hit like before you leave. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash racing dudes, so you never miss any of our Saratoga action when the meet starts. We'll see you at the track.